Okay, so this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. So this morning, after I did my live about 502, you can go check. God told me, say, you're going to need to go around your house with some ammonia. And, you know, I don't be knowing what to expect. So this is Dad's grapefruit tree in his front yard. Y'all see that line? That's a spider web. Now, y'all know spider webs not that long. Y'all see how? But hold on. Look at the second one. Okay, I'm going to try to show y'all. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Y'all should, be, I don't know if you can see it like that. The second one, hold on. I'm going to have to go closer. I'm going to have to go a little closer. Hold on. I'm trying to show y'all how it's. Okay, y'all see Y'all see it? That's actually a spider. Have you ever seen a spider line like that? But anyway, long story short, this is that grapefruit tree. And so, you know what? I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show y'all. I got to show you all because this was crazy. I never saw this in my life. So I walk, So he said, go around. Y'all see down on the ground also these spider web things? When I say, look look at it, all in the yard. I've never seen it like that. It look, almost look like cat hair, but it's not cat hair. It's, I mean, all around the yard. I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm going here. So point blank. And I've never done it like this on purpose. I'm going around the tree. I'm showing y'all what I'm talking about. They like little like this but y'all don't understand it wasn't just in one place it was literally around the house and god said you know i i, I don't have time to play with this thing because i want to i want to be an example but i want to teach y'all what's really going on here so y'all know i'm back in louisiana point blank i grew up here point blank i grew up in here i saw what they do i know how they do it they tried to teach me to do it but i always rejected it you know as if i knew god was with me right come on somebody i'm saying it like i'm saying they can get mad if they want to None but witches and warlocks because they don't trust God. So what they do is they try to um, come against you. Ain't no try. They come against you. Point blank in the story. And, and I'm going here. They have three women that have been using my dad for financial gain. I'm, I'm just putting it all out there. Yeah, I am. Sure are. So anywho, three witches. And I knew what I'd have to attain to when I get here because I was ready. Stay ready. So I already know, because every time I come, there's a foul smell that start coming as if somebody threw dead cat or something under the house. I mean, it, it's the same MO all the time. You know, putting something in the yard. The other day we woke up. I wasn't going to tell y'all all this, but since we out here, since we doing this, then let's do it. So, you know, it looked like somebody dug a little hole. I said, Lord, I said, he said you know what they is. So I just took the anointing oral, took the ammonia, went around and prayed, went around the house. When I come here, that's, this is my lifestyle. I got to go around this house. I got to pray. That's just what I do. Come on. Let me walk with y'all. So long story short, what ended up happening, it brought me back in 2016 when I came here. I had lived on the other side of town. I had my home because we was fixing up this house because that house had been vacant. He had been living with me in California for like, what, three or four years. So this house had been vacant. And you know how older people are. He wanted to return in his house. So while I'm having it fixed, we were staying in another home. Well, long story short, um, let me walk around a little bit. So this is across the street. So anyway, long story short, anywho, I woke up that day. I was, um, it was 2016, and it was a big ball of hair. I had never seen nothing like that. And it was wrapped in some strain, you know those old-time meat packages? So I'm on here. Don't worry. I'm, I'm getting to a point. I know where I'm at. I know what they do. I know who they are. And I'm making this video because I, but since we're in this hour and I know I'm a far run, I'm going to tell y'all how to do this. It's not to put fear. It's not to do any of that. But I want y'all to know it's time out for witches and warlocks to run things. And as a matter of fact, I'm more anointed than I've ever been. So since we do, they suffer not a witch to live. So whoever coming in this yard doing stuff like you, I know you're doing it. I know who you are. When you fall down day somewhere, don't say nothing. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to say nothing, huh? Yeah, I'm saying it like that. I'm saying it like that. I'm God is calling the remnant just like he did before time in the old Bible days. Stop letting people play with you. Stop playing games. We don't have time to play games in this hour. So since you're playing, let's play for keeps. Whatever that you try to curse me and my father with, I sever it and I send it back to you and your whole family. What? what you, you think this? I'm gonna show y'all how to do this thing, because I'm gonna walk it, talk it, and live it. And that's what they notice. It takes three witches to combat one. Actually, it takes thousands if y'all want to know the truth. Are 
the higher you go into spiritual warfare, because I'm going to tell you what one of them told me to my face. Oh, oh we going here this morning. She actually said it. No, you know, and I, the reason why I'm saying I'm sorry, because I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm all out. 2020, I'm all out ya. It was my own ink. This is what she told me. You powerful, but I'm more powerful too, because I go to the Jamaicans and get stuff. And she was in my car. I said, if you don't get out my car, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me tell y'all something. They letting it be known who they are. It is time for you to let it be known who you are. Y'all jellyback Christians, stop being jealous. Stop being envious. Stop being hateful. Stop being manipulating. And stop operating like a witch or a warlock because you're going to get what a witch and warlock get. Witches get stitches. We're talking about spiritual stitches. Y'all can get mad if you want to. I really don't care. I I'm out here. I'm out here. And what I mean by that is God have anointed and appointed me for such a time as this. And I'm going to do what God said to do. And I'm going to go where God said to go. And I'm going to slay demons till the day I die. And if you're part of that demonic realm, you're going to get slayed. I promise you're going to get slayed. Ain't nobody playing. Ain't nobody playing no more. Time out. Time out. Time out. And I'm calling you out. Because you got the right one. Stronger than I've ever been. And I'm not trying to. I, I, I'm not a um, bolsterous type. But I'm telling you. You messing with the wrong anointing at the wrong time. I'm just being real. And and, and the crazy part is, I'm, I'm, I'm praying David prayers these days. Don't act like y'all don't know how David prayed. Kill them all, God. Yeah, I said it. Y'all get mad if you want. Please try to rebuke me and I'll bring your scripture to your face. Because it's time out for playing with these witches and warlocks. They don't know nothing but the word of God. But rebuke. But death, y'all ain't ready for me. All you got to do is just go to the scriptures and it will tell you what thus said the Lord. And I don't know about you, but playtime over with. They want to play. Playtime is over with. Mm, come on. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.